Hello, we're now in Shishou, a small city on the Yangtze River in central China's Hubei Province. The Swan Islet Wetland, or Tianzhou Wetland, in this area is home to two endangered species, namely finless porpoises and milu deer. Their population has recovered a lot in recent years, thanks to ecological conservation and a series of other measures. And today we came here to take a close look. The finless porpoise, known as the giant panda of the water, is a barometer of the ecological environment in the Yangtze River. Once upon a time, this flesh aquatic animal was in danger as natural habitats were under threat from pollution, overfishing, and river traffic. However, thanks to China's effective measures to conserve finless porpoises, including ex situ conservation, artificial breeding, and in situ conservation, the once endangered mammal is now coming back and frequently appears in the Yangtze River. Tianzhou Reserve is the epitome of China's achievement in protecting this animal. According to the latest research on the species released by the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs in 2022, the number of finless porpoises has reached 1,249. Some of them also appeared in areas where they never arrived before. Indicating the population may recover. Close to the Yangtze River, the area has a complete wetland ecosystem and a vast pasture land, which is the ideal habitat for milu deer. The number of milu deer here has grown from 64 in the 1990s to over 2,500 now. Endemic to China, milu deer are nicknamed subushang or animal like number four, as they have a horse-like face, a donkey-like tail. Cow-like hooves and stag-like antlers. Due to hunting, war, and natural disasters, much of the living space of milu deer was occupied. At the beginning of the 1900s, there was only 18 left in the world. China has established the three reserves to enlarge their population. In recent years, advanced techniques such as drones, infrared cameras, facilitated observation and conservation of the deer. Today, we're glad to see them returning to nature under ecological conservation.